Who was Judas? You might say he was a disciple. But I imagine that most of us, when we hear the name Judas, equate him as betrayer. But one doesn't become a betrayer all at once. What was happening in Judas that ultimately led him to betray Jesus? He was his follower. He was one of the twelve. Do we have enough evidence in the Word of God to direct us correctly in answering that question? Mark and Matthew, in their gospel, tell us the precise time when Judas went to the high priest, the chief priest, the scribes, to offer himself as a betrayer. It immediately followed the time when Mary broke the jar of precious ointment and anointed Jesus' feet. Now, Matthew and Mark don't identify the speaker directly, but just says the disciples talked among themselves and said, why was this waste? The Gospel of John, on the other hand, identifies him as Judas and gives us more information. But John does not equate the timing. So we must put all the Gospels together, put the puzzle pieces together to see the picture. But John gives us information that will show something that was happening in Judas' spirit, in his natural man. Because after he spoke the words, why wasn't this sold and given to the poor? There is a parenthesis that says it wasn't because he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief. Now, it didn't say that he stole occasionally. It didn't talk about the act of stealing. Instead, it was saying his very nature, his character, was that of a thief. And it went on to also inform us that he was the keeper of the bag. The money bag. Then it added that he would help himself to the money. He would help himself. It was his nature to be a thief. When he went to the scribes and the chief priests, the first question that came out of his mouth was this, how much will you give me? Mm -hmm. Give me if I deliver Christ to you. He was concerned with self. He was concerned with greed. There was a carnality, a love of money, a love that did not compare with a genuine affection for Jesus. Have you ever thought of the way that Judas betrayed Jesus? 
How did he identify Jesus? He came to the garden and he went up to Jesus, said, Master, and kissed him. Jesus said, Do you betray me, son of man, with a kiss? It was like a false affection. Was Judas ever sincerely in his heart a follower of Jesus? Was he ever really grasping, hearing, hearing, heeding, grasping the teachings of Jesus? And we ask ourselves, Lord, what is our nature? Am I a follower indeed? Do I love you more than anything? Do I love you purely? Do I serve you purely? And we ask God, Oh Lord, search us. Let us not be quick to judge the Judas, but to judge ourselves and ask you to put the spotlight of your Holy Spirit deep within, that we will love nothing more than you. In Jesus' name. Amen.